surprised is surprising her with a birthday brunch so we're acting like me her and her brother's girlfriend are going to brunch so i'm gonna take y'all along with me so we're just going to brunch but it's really like all her family and stuff is gonna be there and her friends i lost my voice last night from all that yelling like i'm not even sure how that happened because i was really minding my business the whole time i'm about to like do my face 10 a 10 second beat at max and then we're gonna go pick up cat and head to brunch. Looking like she looks. Ooh. Look at how I look. Yeah, yeah girl. Look. Golden year 26 on the 26th. Yeah. Yes. So oh, I love when you say that. Golden year. Is it Mary Mary? That's like that song? Living my life like it's golden? No, girl. That's um, big girl from, um, why did I get married? She has a climb up the mountain. Oh. Fighting for her life. <laughs> Fight with my marriage. Who the hell? What's her name? Just God. That's just God. Just God? Yes, yeah, that's that's my like theme just, song for the year. <laughs> Can't stop smiling. <laughs> hey, Anna. Where are you? I am like about like, let me see, 10 minutes away. I, I called this so now, let me see. Oh, hell. Oh, no, sir. You better wait. Yeah, yeah, you gotta back up. You gotta back up, sir. I'm gonna go around. Because you're not finna play with me. You can talk to the blog while I pump air. So, oof. there's a concept. I talked to my sister and she was like, why do people, you know, celebrate New Year just January 1st? Because technically, you know, on your birthday, it's a brand new year for you. So it should be 
you'd be celebrating your new year on that day too. But I get it, you know, celebrating a brand new calendar year, of course. But I like the concept. It's a new year on your birthday. So it's a new year for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go on my phone now. She got a call. The way I'm strapped in this seat, uh, I wasn't gonna get up. I'm just gonna be honest. You're not hot. Um, my butt's been hot. Is there like oh, a seat? Girl. Girl? <laughs> but no, I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> so I don't mind. Fill me up with confidence. I say what's in my chest. Spill my words and tear me down until there's nothing left. Rearrange the pieces just to fit me with the rest. Yeah. But what if I? What if I try? Pretty out here though. Check your outfit, sis. Let's get an outfit check, cat. Jacket from little things. Mm -hmm. Shirt from Shein. Mm -hmm. For the girls that say Shein. <laughs> Pants from little things. Boots. Boots is from Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Back from Aldo. Okay, the glasses. I don't know where these are from. <laughs> these are from little things too. The, the earrings. earrings, yeah. The earrings are heavy. <laughs> I look like an auntie. And she I look like a rich. Is rich she she gave us a rich auntie vibe. Yeah. We're at Kings Bowl, bowling with the family tonight. Came from brunch, took a nap, and now we're bowling. <laughs> Katisha's, um, Katisha's the vision board party. It's like it started at 1 30. It's like 3 o'clock right now. My mom's eating the robot because you're late. I'm oh, sorry, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year Tabitha! Myself 
for making myself happy and doing what makes me happy. What am I leaving behind in 2022? Um, people who don't care about me. Yeah. I need better friendships. And don't hang around people that don't make you feel happy. And I think that's what 2023 is all about. One thing I want to leave behind is worthiness. I seem to worry about the littlest thing ever. And that kind of stresses me out sometimes. I think I want to, uh, I want my business to take off for 2023. I want to leave not being able to express myself, um, to communicate yes. better in 2023, and yeah. What I want to leave behind is wariness. I worry too much about everything. You want to leave behind wariness, what do you want to do? Um, I want to express myself more than just wearing Love it. Hello everyone. Hello. Hey. I do a podcast with Renee. Okay. It's it's pretty spicy. So I don't know. If you're not spicy, Drop you might not want to listen to it. But if you spicy, you might want to listen to it. One thing I want to um, leave behind is the notion that self-love is selfish. Mm. I want to like take time to like really love upon myself yeah. and not feel bad about it. Yeah. I want to like spend money on myself mm -hmm. and not feel bad about it. In the new year, I want to put a lot more energy into our podcast, mm -hmm. be a lot more diligent in recording as often as possible. But yeah, that's it. One thing I want to leave behind in 2022 is my overthinking mindset. Ooh. I tend to overthink everything which puts me in positions where I really don't know how to talk about it. Um, something I want to hopefully rethink in 2023 is like, I want to be happy. Like, I don't want to let things get to me. And then another thing I want to do is put myself before others because I always tend to put others before. One thing I want to leave in 2022 is yeah, like anxiousness. I struggled with anxiety a lot in 2022. Mm -hmm. Started therapy, so I want to continue that in 2023. Yeah. What do you want to take into 2023? Prioritize my happiness. And my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like a coffee cat, <laughs> but one thing I would like to leave in 2023 is definitely anxiety. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, it hinders me from social settings like this. Yeah. So I'm a little anxious. In 2023, I want to be more social. I want to build more connections and network more. Mm -hmm. Because, especially with more girls, sisterhood is very important. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I guess what I want to leave in 2022 is putting other people before myself. Mm -hmm. Because I think I go so hard for others, but not hard for me. Yeah. So of course, be there for people, still love them. What I want to bring into 2023, just really choosing me yes. in every single way. Mm -hmm.